Hey guys, this is Hale for HES Ultimage. For personal channeled messages, go to HESUltimage.com and for DLC Energy Bracelets. These come in eight different colors and three different variations of metal colors. So there's gold tone, black tone, and silver tone. They're really great, super comfortable, so check them out. Other than that, make sure that you check out the free mini monthly reading contest. Just go to my channel, search for the free mini monthly contest video, and then just leave a comment and you could win it, alright? Okay, that said, let's get to your message. Hey Aries, this is Hale for HES Ultimage, and this is your channeled message for the month of February 2016. Hey guys. Alright, so, moving forward with this, the key of your month has to do with sharing ideas, alright? And I'm just going to start bringing things forward here and then start giving you examples and stuff like that. Alright. So, passing ideas in modest this month will help penetrate boundaries and benefit you. Alright? So, that's the first thing. So, I really have to push in modest because that was a really big focus of this overall message. The idea is... You'll be sharing ideas and thoughts in a way that's very casual, that's very light. All right, because, okay, one of my favorite things about fire signs, and I've, I'm cusping Aries, guys. My sun sign is directly on the cusp of Aries, all right? Um, so I know I can be this way almost all the time between uh, the cusp on Aries and lots of Capricorn stuff. I can come on really strong. And one of my favorite things about fire signs is, like, you never have to guess where you stand with them. Because I got in modest, I'm getting, you might want to be a little more light when you present ideas to people this month. Um, as far as just being like, oh yeah, I've been thinking about this, instead of being like, this is what I think, and this is what I believe, and you're gonna listen. <laughs> like, uh, it's the difference between being on an infomercial, <laughs> and the difference between being that, and then being out for a beer with a friend. And I'm getting that, you know, that analogy of being out for a beer or out for a coffee, because there's nothing wrong with that. Um, that level of casual nature, that level of being laid back, easy about it, is really clear. And not only that, but the other thing about In Modest I Got is that we're not presenting ideas upon the um, notion that they're going to be gigantic. We have to keep ourselves modest about also our expectations and all right okay i'm not going to give you more on that one i think that was more than enough okay so i'm going to move forward with this all right um don't want to go off the rails with that all right next um benevolent forces are in your corner all right and and I'm getting with that, it's about friendships and the people around you, alright? Let's keep this on the earth plane here. Um, <laughs> and that's my description of the benevolent forces, okay? Um, so let's not keep it into context of things that are like, you know, otherworldly or anything. This is about what you're connected to here. All right, so those benevolent forces of friends, um, colleagues, family members, um, lovers or partners, if you will, um, all of those people have good energy around you right now, and they're bringing good energy. So the idea is to be able to, um, okay, yep, yeah, <laughs> modestly and lightly um, share with them your ideas, your goals, your ambitions, um, is a very positive thing to be doing this month, okay? And I do believe that they'll be receiving them nicely as far as, you know, remembering that you're keeping yourself grounded when you're describing it, you're not getting into too grand of a packaging, if you will, um, that you keep yourself modest when you describe, and that you keep the atmosphere modest as far as how you're presenting, all right? And, and the way you choose to present, all right? Um, but other than that, it's really pretty simple with that, and it's, it's a very positive kind of environment for you to be in. I think that you will be getting encouragement, you know, and you might even get support as far as, um, okay, this, this will manifest a few ways. So, 
I'm gonna give you a few examples here. Um, first off, you know, if you are confiding in, you know, a partner or friend, they might give you another good idea or a way of maybe even, you know, um, elaborating on your idea and making it either more grounded, more focused, or ways to research it and make it even better, all right? Likewise, if you're talking with someone who's a prospective partner in some form of project, um, then you can also find that they might either A, have some very good ideas for you, or B, even offer their assistance or help. You know, and this can happen in the other situation too, um, but more likely when it's, you know, a business kind of venture or a creative venture where you're in a more business relationship. But, um, but basically a lot of people are going to have like advice to share with you. Um, ways to bolster your ideas is really the idea this month. People can present you, okay? Present you with support, okay? And support towards these ideas. So you gently sharing them is going to be the best course. All right, give me a minute. We've got a little more here. Okay. Okay, yeah, I'll just read it out. Some of us find it hard to be honest and connect. We will get results by letting it out. Again, letting out those ideas, those thoughts, and just letting it flow. All right? So this is the other thing. <laughs> um, again, it's like finding it hard to be honest and connect. When I connect with this kind of energy of Aries, I also think about what I consider for me Capricorn energy. Um... I see a lot of overlaps there in myself, at least. Um, but here's the thing. With Aries, there's a lot of pride there, too. And it's like, you don't want to... Okay, I'm just going to put it this way. Um, you go, I don't want to feel dumb by sharing this idea if it's not quite good enough. Or I'm not quite as informed, experienced, whatever, to feel, like, confident of even thinking about it alone. It's okay to just have an idea and just to have a thought. And sometimes we do need others to help us ground those and give us ideas towards how to structure them. And and I can say, personally, I've had this before where, you know, I'm a perfectionist and um, want to plan a plan very intricately. And sometimes I would have to confide in a friend who was m even much less structured, but knew the area I was trying to work towards and gave me fabulous advice about it. So you don't really have to put on airs when it comes to sharing your point of view, sharing your ideas and goals and aspirations. Sometimes by letting down that guard and letting yourself um, share those aspirations, even if you feel that you're far away from it or that it might not even be worth discussing, you'd be surprised what people can contribute to you and can even just point you in the right direction or give you a little push into the right direction or recommend a good book for you or a good website for you, okay? So there's a lot to be gained through this experience in February, okay? And all you have to do is kind of go, well, I've kind of been thinking about this and, and I'm thinking about maybe doing this kind of thing or or would you be interested in maybe doing this kind of thing with me? Because I've been thinking about it a lot, and I think it's kind of neat. <laughs> um, like, it's really that light that you don't have to be any more, you know, firm-footed about it. It can be that casual and that simple, all right? All right, now, last thing that I got was nothing can stop us, so don't stop yourself, all right? Um... I would say Aries is a force to be reckoned with, <laughs> all right? And since I'm directly on that cusp, I know it. Uh, like, once we have our minds set on something, we want to just, like, break down the door to get there. <laughs> and, you know, difference with the Aries energy is, like, we want to break down the door immediately, you know, like, even before any of the other stuff has happened, unless you have a lot of Earth in your chart or something. Like, um... Really, Aries is about powering forward, being type A, being, you know, um, a force of enthusiasm, um, a force of energy. Aries is kind of the gasoline <laughs> of the astrology chart. Like, Aries has all the energy in the world to make things happen and all the enthusiasm to do it. But sometimes we need a little helping hand and we need some, you know, good advice. 
So this month, seek out that advice, share yourself with others and share your ideas with others, and you'll find that you find some really positive directions to go in. Some good leads, all right? So that said, thanks for watching, and I'll see you later.